Hey guys, Tim Player 90 here. We're back for the NR2004 Whole Foods Series race with the Phoenix 250 at Phoenix. Before we check that out, let's just check the points real quick after the sixth race at Sonoma. Harry Oddball leads by quite a bit over Logan Revler. Um, yeah, pretty, this is pretty much it. Vernon Davis, the lowest one with the win. And Carl Benson still hasn't hit 300 yet, so that's pretty much it. Hope you found where you guy, your guy was at. 47 laps at this place. 105 because 110 is killer at this track. I can't deal with it now. So I don't know why I'm showing the entry list. Everyone qualifies unless it's this track's too small. Skip practice. Why not? The driver goes to your car. rack. All right. Not much difference. Mandel last because this isn't a super speedway rip. Happy hour, happy hour, happy hour, happy hour. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Colin Jack is going to be winning. No, Devin Smith stole it. Yeah. <laughs> Nigel last in that. All right, they're halfway, so I don't want to skip the lap. That's why. Drivers. All right, let's just do this. Kenny Rack sits third in points. He's on the pole. Ricky Nevins, too, is outside, also in the top ten. And here's the rest of, you know, everybody's <laughs> 47 laps at this nuisance of a drag. <sighs> green flag is out in the Phoenix 250. Kenny Rack will lead him to the green, and he cleared everybody already. Wow. Nevins is going to be able to go to the inside just because of that. Mm -hmm. Hopefully no one dies. We'll find out coming off the next turn. Oh, Vernon almost got dumped there by Tom Abel in the back. I saw that. And here comes Nevins. Oh, let's see if they hit the wall, though, first. Oh, they didn't. Yay. Here's everybody else. Oh, Reveler's really far back here. Started 24th. It looked like he's stuck on the outside still. Erickson with the fourth. This Nevins is right on the back bumper of Rack. Remember, no matter how many laps you lead, there is no bonus points right now in the points format I'm using for this series. You don't get bonus points for leading laps, regardless if you lead the most or if you lead a lap. Oh, Nigel almost wrecked there. Three wide. Oh, Logan's in the wall. Logan, Reveler, and Jackson Mandel, they save it. And there's still Edgar Minsky is on the bottom of the track. Someone must have bonked off. Now that's not good for the 11. He needs a good finish to catch up with Oddball, who is toward the front. Nevins couldn't get around Rack there. And Vernon Davis is catching up as well. It's the fastest lap right now from that was Oliver Erickson, who's running fourth. Let's see if these guys can catch back up. Edgar's got something, some problem. Top three are breaking away here. Oh, Tom Abel is in the wall, I think. Yeah, Tom Abel into the wall here. He's side by side with his sister, Karen. And their cousin, Maximus, in the eight, is in the middle of a three wide issue right now toward the back, so. We'll leave him be. Oh, Gregory, what are you doing? That was really risky what he did. Jack's going to be stuck on the outside now from that. Alright, where is... So four car breakaways now. And then the Carson siblings are just getting the best of everyone. But Oddball's been at the front of every single race. And Revelers was supposed to be up here too, but I don't know what's happening with him. This Chris Steele goes to the bottom. He almost won Sonoma last time, but he finished second to Rack, who's leading right now. Rack might take the lead if he keeps winning. Oh, we got a wreck. It's Mandel and Reveler again. And no caution is out. All right, caution is out from that. Logan Reveler 2 crashes. You know, the same time with the same guy as well. Kenny Rack will win back to the caution here. Logan Revler is now 
struggling. Oh, Edgar Minsky just sent it. Looks like he got some payback right there. Payback from Edgar Minsky as he slaps Logan Rebel into the wall. Look at that. The 16 just bonk in him. Mandel just was, he was just an innocent bystander. He just happened to be involved in the wreck again. Lenny Carson pitting. So it looks like everyone's probably pitting at this point. Yes. I don't know why Lenny. I guess Lenny was already in the pit road for some reason. She must have an issue. She's running. It says she's in 30th right now. I don't know. Got a couple cars doing on some crit strategy. Only a few cars though. Five, five cars staying out. Looks like Ricky Nevins, the Able siblings, Reese Turner, and Flint Byron stay out. I wonder if it'll work. What in the world, Kenny? He's got. They're getting dragged to the pit stalls by uh, forces unknown to mankind. Two tires there. I was about to say. There goes Turbo Meme. Turbo Meme must have done just two tires because he just gained a position on everybody. Oh my goodness. Rax first out. Lenny's still in the pit road for some reason. And it look yep, Lenny's just gone. Let's see what happened. She had a clutch issue, so unfortunate for her, she was I believe she had 499 points, so I believe she was 6th in the standings. Alright, Ricky Nevins is now going to lead us to the green flag on lap 13, I presume. Nope, 12. Coming to the green, Nevins. Darius Davis has the fast lap. Green flag's out, Ricky Nevins leads. Turner's automatically going for a spot right away on Tom Abel. Turner steals third. Flint's coming as well, and so is Kenny and every one of those guys behind them. Reveler's still in here. He has a chance. Karen Abel looking to try to catch Ricky Nevins. Tom Abel in the wall again. That's a given. That's going to give another position to Vernon Davis and Kenny Rack. Abel on the back bumper of Nevins. Baron Hillis Jr. getting held, held up by Nigel Carson. He's going to get to the inside. Michael Hogson for way higher. Nevins is holding the lead, but he's only barely holding the lead as Karen Abel's behind him. She is pretty high up in the standings, too. He's been close on a few wins for a few wins. That fist brawl Chevy's looking really fast compared to the Trust Crust Dodge. As Kenny Rack's moving up, Davis tried to send it way too deep. <clears throat> Let's see, is she going to make her move here? No, she stays it. She stays behind the 24. It's a little flyby right there. That lasted way too short. <laughs> I guess I'll fix that afterward. Nevins pulled away a little bit there. Why oh, does someone just pit for a second? I wonder if they're gonna get around each other here. Is there a caution? I thought there was a caution for a moment. Oh, she's right on the back bumper. She's gonna swing inside right there. Perfect timing. Karen Abel takes lead. Kenny Rack as well is going to take third from Reese Turner. Let's see if Nevin's is able to clear side by side as Rack clears the 44, but side by side. Karen Abel takes the lead from Ricky Nevins with just over 30 to go. Davis going under Byron. And here comes Rack, goes for second already on Nevins, and she's looking to chase Karen, who hasn't even lit a lap yet. Karen leads. She's led that one lap that we just saw. Is Kenny going to spoil that? 
tries to go to the inside a little too late there, maybe. That 31's looking strong. Karen leads. We got Darren Hills Jr. in the wall, and Tom Abel just has probably maybe too little, too much wedge into the cars. He keeps hitting that wall. He's falling all the way back. Oh, Edwin Lux trying to do a little four wide action there. It's a Callaway and Carl Benson now on the bottom. Whoa, that was close. That was close and needed. Look at Colin Jack trying to send it to the inside. Aaron still leads on Kenny. And Davis moves up to fourth. Erickson's looking for fifth as well. I believe their teammates as well with their team in 54. And here comes Rack to the inside. Rack will take the lead. Nevins is coming behind him, though. Davis coming up fast. Oh, Karen had to slow down there. Run a little high. Nigel hit the wall, looks like. Thermo Mean definitely got the best out of that strategy. He came up right behind uh, Kenny. Nevin is still struggling to take second away. As Rack's pulling away. Looking for a second win of the season. And back, back, back to back wins. I wonder if, if Nevin's is conserving a few. Because he hasn't gone around the place. Yeah. 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 Ooh, I thought that was really slow by Nevin's. Look at Win Hall here, pretty low in points, right outside the top 10. He's challenging Harry Oddball. As Rack has almost has over a half second gap on the 24. Davis now looking for second. He won the Daytona 350 and then fell off. It's like Revler's finally going to look for a position now. He's struggled since that crash, and so is Mandel. But he's going to get one on Colin Jack there. Why don't you make like a cool case? Sponsored by Major League Baseball Plus, that little subscription that Major League Baseball has. I'm serious, they do, totally, in 2004. Oh, Peter Sense is sending it. And he's going to pay the price for that. Wrong time to do that, my friend. That 89 has had trouble this year at, since BNQing that mini Pocono race. Almost a second gap, Rack has. You look at Yos Rodriguez, what a send. Him and Wynn Hall and Ivan Earls moving up the field. Flint into the wall almost. Rack leads the race still. Sorry, I'm moving to a different move as room as as I was. Sorry, I was moving to a different room. It was a little noisy, as you could tell, probably. Um, yeah, Rack still leads. Oh, looks like Davis gained a, quite a bit of time there. It did dwindle down by the three tenths. Harry Oddball going for 11th here on their Ivan Earls. That nice run though by the 69. Getting by the 02 like that. Man, Mandel and Reveler just struggling. Reveler's gonna lose a lot of points. Last place is only worth seven points. And first is worth 115. Erickson looking at third place.
Let's go on board with Ericsson. With what is that, 18 laps to go? Turner's trying to get in on the 13. Old Abel sliding up. Abel sliding up. Let's try and get around Nevins at the same time. They wrecked for a moment. Let's see if Karen's sliding a little bit because she stayed out. Look at Erickson. Look at how much time he gained from there. He's probably going to go for both spot. This 24th race season has been a little bit competitive. Has been decently competitive, better than the Xfinity series in real life. Dang, John and Ernie Macek just wins everything now. Erickson right on the back bumper of Abel there, but Vernon Davis is closing the gap on Kenny Rack. He's within half a second. Jack Sloan now gonna go under Edgar Minsky there. Here comes Callaway, gets a little loose on during, in the dog leg here. Chris Steele's gonna clear him for that. Killington just sent it behind us. This is Oxen's like best finish. I don't think he has a top ten. Yos Rodriguez moving up, trying to force the 44 of Turner up the track. Rodriguez is like being seventh or eighth in the standings. He's coming. He's gonna try to get around Turner sooner or later. Davis is chasing down the 31, and that it, he is at a 3 tenths gap behind him. Point three two. Karen's still trying to Nevin. This is a pretty spread out race. Not really many people passing each other. I did not think he... Oh, and then as I say that, Carl Bentz is having a sick run on Flynn Byron. Nice. Benson... Oh, I thought they were about to wreck. Oh, looks like we got some pitters. Um, yes, Nevins looks like everyone that did not pit is still is now pitting as Davis is side by side with Rack. Rack continues to lead that lap by barely. Oh my gosh. Please let that be the finish. Some cars pit, some didn't. Interesting. Win Hall moves up to six. That's crazy. Davis holds the lead, but he hasn't even let a lap. So let's see if he's going to pit. No, he doesn't. Aaron Abel pits. We got some underdogs moving up. Harry Oddballs now moving up heavily. Three wide. Maybe 105 wasn't the best option. <laughs> Maybe 107 would have been better. But oh well, Jack hits. Looks like these guys are the only competitors, but I wonder if they're racing too hard and because maybe these guys can catch him if they run out of fuel, both of them. Like, that would be interesting. Oh, and Rodriguez blows up in front of... Oh, as soon as they took the camera away, he blows up from third. Blows up from third. Oh my gosh, bro, and that slows him down even more. Look at that. And he's stuck on the field. Is that a caution? I'm pretty sure that's a caution. Yes, it is. Caution is out for Yos Rodriguez stopped in the middle of the track. No idea why he didn't go through the pit road. Maybe he, mi I think he missed it. Uh, I don't know what he was doing. 
Well, that screwed up a ton of the pit cycle. With just a few to go. Yeah, Karen Abel and everyone else got screwed. Dang, it sucks to be them. And those guys were pretty high up in points. Wow. But these guys didn't pit. That's interesting. Tom Abel, two laps down for some reason. And Yos Rodriguez is out with also the same issue. Lap 44, so that will be four laps shootout. Vernon Davis, Kenny Rack, Win Hall, Harry Oddball, Michael Ogson, your top five. Okay, green flag is out. Vernon Davis will have four laps to hold off. The hard charge back, and here comes Win Hall. Hall takes the lead right from his teammate and takes second. Their teammate, him in the 31. And Ogson gets passed by Earls. Win Hall now, who's like 26th in the standings, is now looking to challenge for a victory. Did they just wreck? The oh! In the back! Caution! And Mandel and Davis wins it at the line. He's probably won the race. Mandel, oh my gosh, why? Oh, Jack, I think, got loot. Oh, yeah, he hit Revler there. And I ah, slides up into the 79 and the 14. And I don't know why those guys are pitting, but let's see if anyone else does because that wouldn't be good. It looks like we're going to have one lap to see who, if they don't do a one lap shootout. Turbo Mean blew up during under caution. And coming off the final corner after that wreck that should have not been a caution, Vernon Davis will be the first City Series. Whoa, what? The first Whole Foods Series driver to get two victories. He wins the Phoenix 250. Over Win Hall, Kenny Rack, Harry Oddball, who finishes fourth and extends his points lead by five million. And at the end, this is the final point, the final positions. Vernon Davis has his second career win. If you guys like that video, please like. The next video will be at an interesting track, Oswego Motor Speedway. For the Nilla Wafers 300. I hope you like that video. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.